Subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss an update from First Post. For the past few years, every monsoon, Mumbai floods. Some years more than others. In this space-grant city, land is at a premium, and a big reason for this flooding is the systematic destruction of mangroves and wetlands to make way for constructions. Daryl De Monte, a Mumbai-based journalist, has been reporting on such environmental issues. Now here's a, a absolutely what we call ecological illit- illiteracy, because we are building the new um, Navi Mumbai Airport in a wetland, and the uh, uh, people who are building the airport are ra- because of that raising it by seven meters. But when you raise it by seven meters, obviously the water, rain that will fall has to be dispersed. So there's a genuine, genuine fear that uh, towns like uh, Panvel and all, which are close by, could get flooded. We saw that in the 2005 floods in uh, Mumbai, in July 26, 2005. So unless we begin to realize the value of these wetlands, we are playing with uh, fire. Say Uran is the best example of show how a very thriving ecosystem can be completely destroyed. Uran was a bird watcher's paradise. You to have one and a half lakh birds at any given point of time in Uran, and such a beautiful place anywhere in any developed country would have been showcased for tourism. Mumbai and Navi Mumbai are coastal cities that have come up on reclaimed land. Mangroves are plants that grow in salty water and protect the shore from the sea by acting as sponges. They are a part of wetlands, which are distinct ecosystems of land area covered by water. There is close to 45,000 wetlands in Maharashtra, which are surviving even today. As per the 2010 data, the data we have today is of 2010. I think in the city alone, if I am not mistaken, there are about 80 odd identified wetlands. When we talk of wetlands, we should remember that there are wetlands now which are not. Coastal wetlands. We talk about the inland wetlands, the smaller lakes, the ponds, the wells. Mangroves are the interface between the land and the sea. And in this part of the world, uh, this tropical world, uh, this is where mangroves grow. And by some estimates, they are the most diverse forms of life. In Navi Mumbai's Nehrul, Suni and Shruti Agrawal have been saving mangroves from being destroyed by a construction company. So when in November 2017, this um, they suddenly started doing work in a plot, uh, so we were sh- uh, shocked actually looking at that because uh, we were all aware that this is part of uh, 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 part of that court uh, matter, so they c- cannot start. So when we approached them, they refused to give us any uh, information. Documents, information. So we reached, uh, we contacted police station. So we came to know that they have got, uh, they showed two documents. One was uh, permission to make compound wall and the other was their application for soil testing. Based on these two uh, documents, they started, uh, they brought in a lot of big machines, the ACV and um, started uh, destroying all the trees in that land. They started making a big uh, boundary wall and the boundary wall, they were not resting to that plot. We saw to it, we see that they were trying to cover the whole this water body and the soil uh, picked up from there, they were trying to dump in the whole lake, they would have covered this whole lake. Um, Very soon the whole lake would have been covered. They had already so even though the there are laws which protect this wetland, there are laws which protect mangroves, they think that citizens will uh, be, not take, uh, make uh, a noise, they don't Because when we approached them, uh, the lady advocate who was there, she said, we are not digging a uh, hole in the hole ground in the that we will do without permission. We got all the permission. And that's when we had to take a stand and we told, no, we are going to the police station. Both of us contacted the NRI police station here. We went to the NMMC headquarters. We met the police commissioner. Uh, we got a very good response. Of course, it was a little tough for us. but. I mean, it's like, okay, if you make a noise, you are going to be hurt. Informed citizens are coming together to save wetlands and have been successful in altering some of the construction plans, which would have led to mangrove destruction. Maharashtra's mangrove cover has increased by 37% since 2015, according to a 2017 report by Forest Survey of India.
which shows that public pressure along with firm action taken by mangrove cell is producing results. As you know, the state government is building a coast road, which was originally going to be a coast road right all the way to Bhaindar or somewhere. But because of people's agitation, they are now making this as, from Bandra a sea link. It will be a coast road from Marine Drive to the Bandra Valley sea link, but from here it will be a uh, sea link, one, one kilometer off. Because otherwise it would have, it would have been built in the uh, creek, in Malad Creek, right in the middle of the mangrove. So um, this, I think, is, is the, attitude, is the uh, effect of people's awareness. People have part, begun to participate actively thanks to the internet. People they find it easier to post photographs and it get picked up, picked up by the media. So that way, yes, the people's participation is very important and it is coming, uh, increasing with each passing day. People are aware and people at least make a noise about it. That's the big plus. Okay, earlier it used to be one or two people shouting. Okay, you know, at least you are not counted among the mad fools now. Hmm. The number of fools have increased <laughs> as far as the government is concerned.